We are excited to be here in the lovely state of California competing against schools nationwide. We're proud to represent our Leopard family and our school at Queen High School. This, this is, is DQ TV. Good afternoon, STN. Today is Thursday, March 14th, and we're here to compete in the 2024 STN Convention here in Long Beach, California. In just a few moments, our reporters will take you down to the pier to take a look at a few small businesses. And we'll let you know whether or not the weather is going to let us do what we're trying to do this week. I'm Jackson Van Winkle. And I'm Kenley Martinez. Welcome, Welcome to, to Leopard, Leopard Vision. Vision. There's always so much going on in California. Beyond Wonderland, Rolling Loud. Wait. Wait, stop. What in the world is Rolling Loud? Jackson, you don't know where Rolling Loud is? No. It's basically a hip-hop music, music festival that's held all around the world. Well, I heard we put quite the dynamic duo on this story. Let's take a look at what two of our reporters said about two top artists. What's up, everybody? We're here at California Pizza Kitchen trying to figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the week. What is going on this week? Isn't it it's Rolling Loud? Rolling Loud is happening this week. I actually checked out the set list and I saw a dynamic duo. That can never go solo. Mm -hmm. Future Metro Boom. Future Metro Boom, baby. Oh, God, I love it. Oh, I'm serious. You know they're dropping a new album this month? When? On the 22nd. What is it called? We Don't Trust You. Oh, God, I love them so much. You know every song is going to be a certified Bang. Oh, but it's all going on my playlist. Especially after that Grammy nomination, you know they're feeling on top of the world. You know Metro actually said that his relationship with Future is his reason for success. That is so sweet. I know. When it was is their really first sweet. collab? I feel like they've been making music together for Since ever. 2013, I think. 2013 was crazy. I know. They've been friends since they were 17. I don't think I could ever be friends with anybody that long. Except for you. We've been friends since we were six, Riley. So we make an album? album? Okay, well, we're going to go hop in the studio, so back to you guys. I'm taking this one. I'm taking this. Here at STM, we know that teamwork makes the dream work. Producing a show, it does take a lot of effort, and so we think working in pairs is the most efficient way to get things done. Here's Ashley McCullough to tell you how it takes two to make things happen. DQTV is known for its creative outlook and production. We work in pairs in the studio and in the field. We brought with us today two of our favorite senior editors. Let's take a look. What would you say that your main role at DQTV is? Um, you know, I, I do a lot of things, <laughs> a lot of different things. Um, but I'd say the main thing that I do is like graphics and like designing the graphics that go on the show. What do you think makes you stand out as an editor? Um, you know, everybody has like their different styles. I like to just keep things simple, but innovative at the same time. I've edited for six competitions in which I was named Omaha Filmmaker of the Year for 2023. What does OMOF stand for? OMOF stands for Ozark Media Arts Festival. It's a festival where students gather to compete against each other in many different areas of journalism and media production. As you can see, we're working relentlessly to produce great things. Reporting for DQTV, I'm Ashley McCullough. Back to you guys. Now, Kenley, did you know that Long Beach actually averages 345 days of sunshine per year? I did not know that, Jackson, because we stay in southwest Arkansas, so I have no need for that information. Thank you for that, though. I do know the weather here is way better than back at home in D-Queen, so let's talk to our favorite sunshine girl, Sophie Hunt, for more. Thanks guys, I'm standing on Shoreline Pier here in Long Beach, California. As you can see, it's very windy out here, way windier than back home in Arkansas. So since we're here until Sunday, I'm going to give y'all's three-day forecast. Today's low is going to be 51 with a high of 70. Tomorrow is going to be a low of 51 also with a high of 67. And Saturday is going to be a low of 53 with a high of 67 as well. So make sure you come out here and grab a friend because it takes two to enjoy this beautiful weather. Back to you guys. I think that we may have came in the perfect week of March. March Madness is approaching and the Notre Dame race is about to begin. And all of our sports team back at home are really putting in the work. That's right, Jackson, and we know that it takes two to run a sports team, so why don't you help John John? Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 where'd you come from? Kimmy pushed the fire out of me, dude. You probably deserved it. Anyways, our track team had their first ever track meet of the season last night in Ashdown. The girls finished runner-up and the boys finished third place. We are so proud of our track team for all the new PRs they broke. And on the soccer side, the boys had a great start with Jerry Munoz scoring in the first 10 seconds and Angel Gonzalez adding on to the scoring sheet. I'm super proud of my team. And with the girls' side, the girls had a tough loss last night, 2-1. to one. But now, Jackson, how have, how have the baseball team and the softball team been doing? 
Well, over on the diamond, our baseball team, even though they've had their ups and downs, managed to get a win against the Hope Bobcats with a final score of nine to four. And with Sam Graham hitting his third home run on the season. Now over on the softball side, our girls have started out with an outstanding 8-0 record, standing at number one in the 4A7 conference. This has been their best record since the 2017 state championship season. Well, John, John, I guess I better get back to Kenley. Yeah, you better. She don't like people being late. And it takes two, remember? Yeah. You're right. That's all the sports we have for you today. Well, guys, um, I thought it took two to run a show, but I'm, oh, you're late. You're, you're late. Let, let, let's finish this. Um, STN, thank you for having us. Um, it's amazing out here in Long Beach. That's right, Kenley. It's such an honor to be here. And never forget, it's, it's always, always a great, great day, day to be a leopard. leopard.